good to be with you today as we remember uh, not only this um, this uh, Thursday of the fifth week of, of Easter, but also uh, St. Athanasius, a famous bishop and doctor of the church. And so, uh, and Deacon Mike uh, will be with me for the St. Stanislaus Mass later on this morning. So he's joining me for that, that Mass. And so we continue to read the Acts of the Apostles. And we, we see the, the story of the early church. And, you know, what we see is not a, an invisible communion of people that kind of believe in Jesus spread around. We're, we're, we're seeing an actual body, the body of the church, the, the uh, communion of the faithful under the bishops and the priests. You know, the apostles are our first bishops. And so this, you know, the, the Protestant rejection of holy orders, the sacraments of, say, for example, holy orders, the, is not biblical. It is clearly not biblical. Uh, and the, the rejection of a hierarchy and all those kind of things. And so, um, you know, the, one of the, the challenges that, that the apostles have to deal with very early is is that uh, is, is are the, the 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 Gentiles, in other words, Greeks, uh, you know, Romans people that 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 are not Jews and don't practice cultural Judaism, as they are brought into uh, uh, Christianity, which is an, 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 a development of Judaism. Are they required to follow all the Jewish customs? Because the early Christians, by and large, follow all the Jewish uh, traditions and that included circumcision all the dietary rules of the law of Moses all those things and uh, Peter as our first Pope uh, with his bishops as in the other Apostles have to make a decision and uh, it, it's a it's a powerful moment because because this decision has to do also with what Christianity is is Christianity kind of a kind of the latest stage of the Jewish traditions that we have received and that we believe have been given to us by God? Or is it something new, right? You know, old wine, new wine. And in, tomorrow in the readings, they will actually, uh, you'll actually see the decision that they make. And so I'll just say that, that, uh, that you can you can read ahead if you want, or just come to Mass tomorrow, <laughs> and then learn more about what happens. And so it, that, that actual uh, council that makes the decision is called the Council of Jerusalem. And it's basically the, first, the church's first ecumenical council. And they make a, that very important decision about how do we handle those that are coming into Christianity? Do we compel them to practice all the Jewish customs? And so I'd also like to talk a little bit about um, the, maybe the gospel, but particularly St. Athanasius. Uh, St. Athanasius is also known as Athanasius of Alexander, Alexandria, or Athanasius the Apostolic, lived very early. Uh, in, uh, he died in the fourth century, so uh, very early Christian figure. He was a theologian. Uh, he was a statesman and an Egyptian national leader. And Athanasius is really important because he was a chief defender of Christian orth orthodoxy uh, in the fourth century battle against the Arian heresy. Uh, and so the Arian belief was that, uh, that the Son of God is God's greatest preacher, but he isn't God that he was made a very long time ago, but that he is not in fact God. And Athanasius didn't just go up and say a few things at a podium and maybe get kind of disagreed with a bit. He was exiled. He was exiled from his country five times, five times for uh, his, uh, his witness to the truth. And, you know, I'm gonna say this, I'm going to say this, there was actually a time when, uh, when they had like a poll of whether the Son of God 
is, you know, whether the Son of God is eternal and co-eternal with God, uh, as the uh, you know Athanasius said, or whether he is God's greatest creature made from before time, as the Arians said, and like 80% of the bishops agreed with the Arian position. And if it wasn't for the incredible witness of people like Athanasius to orthodoxy today, then we might, we might all be Arians. That might be the only thing we got. That might be the surviving view. And so, it, you know, when you realize this and, and see what happened, you know, it, it's kind of shocking to realize that, that, you know, so many of the leaders uh, found they didn't see the pro a problem with, with the heretical teaching, you know? And so if it wasn't for people like Athanasius, we, could, we might all be Arian, that might be what we have. And so, you know, as we continue this day and, uh, you know, continue this week, I, I encourage you to read up about Athanasius, to learn more about him and his life, and to realize that we are truly called to witness the truth, even when there is no one on our side and that God will reward, will reward those who, uh, who dedicate themselves to, to pursuing the, the, the truth and the love that comes from God and that God wants to share with his creation.